Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a Nicholas game for you in uh, this second season of, of Ranked. I'm going to go ahead and pause it real, real quick here to go over the matchmaking. We are looking at an enemy CV and got three, four battleships, two cruisers. Emeralds are uh, kind of a sleeper. Uh, they've, they're carrying their own smoke. These guys can... Uh, a lot of times operate on their own on the flank so this is actually a pretty decent cruiser here we're looking at an enemy Kirov and an Acosta uh, is their only enemy destroyer <clears throat> now this game is it's um, my team struggles um, I include this because I, sp I spend a lot of time basically trying to trying to uh, protect my cruisers because they make some questionable decisions <coughs> and I think that if I didn't expend that effort this game would have it would have been a complete raffle stomp but this was a game that you know, regardless of the destroyer that I brought, you weren't carrying this. <clears throat> but I did want to, uh, you know, show it to you guys as uh, an example of more team-based play. And then also an, an example of a really good last stand. The game's, you know, pretty much over, you know, and doing what you got to do to to at least make it hurt for the enemy now right here <clears throat> it's a cv game i'm i should probably be smoking right around in here i'm gonna wait another couple seconds i don't there's the enemy fighter it looks like the enemy fighters coming up towards a all of a sudden he turns around probably spots our fighter so uh i'm gonna go ahead and and pop smoke here I should have done it probably about five, six seconds later because they do get a shot at my cruisers here. <clears throat> and regardless, I get I get it popped. And I'm just gonna pull it in here. I want it to be somewhat, you know, close to this rock. Now <clears throat> the enemy Acosta is on cap. So I'm going to go try and uh, basically pick a fight with this guy. And I uh, thought briefly I could shoot over that, but couldn't. So <coughs> just going to start going to work on this guy. And uh, it's a bad engagement for, for me. This guy's able to, to move into cover. And I'm shooting at less and less of his ship. Whereas me traveling in this direction, he could shoot at more of my ship. Plus he's got, you know, a cruiser that can shoot at me as well. So I basically just disengage. Um, my Emil Burton, for some reason, he leaves my smoke. Now watch. None of my cruisers really suffered in that initial engagement. Now this guy, he exposes himself to the enemy team. He's going to go park in behind this island. And he's basically going to get wrecked. <clears throat> he had a, a perfect smoke back here. He can't be torped in that smoke. Uh, he could be farming these battleships, that cruiser. You know, he could be doing a lot of things. And instead, you know, it's a one of those things you know I, I don't understand the uh, RCV goes and uh, tries to drop the Acosta forces him out of cap so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cap this with my Emil Burton and I mean if you see already he's half HP this guy he, he's been sitting there doing the same thing shooting all this whole time he's full HP cruiser players don't be dumb fucks <clears throat> you know uh, if your destroyer player is going to give you 
a, a vision advantage where you can, you know, farm um, enemy HP at very little cost to yourself, you're a fool if you don't take it. You're not doing your job by maximizing the HP trades. And this is this is costing us the game. I mean, that guy, he's he's pretty much on death's door right now. <clears throat> any any decent battleship salvo is gonna kill him, and you know it is what it is. Now the other thing to note is watching the smoke screen timers. Yes, you didn't lay the smoke screen, <clears throat> but the, the principles are still there. You're a really squishy ship. If the smoke screen's running out in, you know, 30 seconds, you need to get your butt in gear and get out of that. <clears throat> Enemy Acosta gets spotted briefly. I basically getting some shots on him. I know that this uh, emerald smoke's going to be running out, and I see that this Emil Burton's coming out of uh, the island cover, so I'm looking to get up here and drop another smoke. Excuse me, my throat's all scratchy. <clears throat> so, I'm get, I see the Emil already turning back in. And I'm just going to drop my smoke. Um, because this, this guy, he's tr at this point, he's trying to die. If, if I don't smoke here, he's dead. He's got, you know, uh, a C full health Caesar less than 9 kilometers away. You know, no good is going to come out of pushing in here like this. <clears throat> and in this situation, because I don't have smoke... This guy's pushing me. You know, uh, the best I can do is just basically try to drop torps and hope that this guy pushes into him. <coughs> so I literally dropped those torps one kilometer, or a hundred meters from my concealment. It actually may have been less than that. Um, <coughs> Now I turn out and I drop some more torps just on the offhand chance that this guy is going to push. But with how the, the range is opening, this guy basically just wanted to step into the cap, stop our points. It's a smart play. <clears throat> and unfortunately, because he just stopped right there, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. I get spotted by the uh, enemy aircraft. And I don't know what this Acosta is doing opening up on me. It's it's a no-win situation for him. I just run into my smoke screen. <clears throat> I'm getting my guns on target and, you know, just taking some shots. This guy's running for his life now. So just taking a couple quick shots. He drops off. I secure the kill, <clears throat> and at this point I'm, I've am i got targets spotted, I'm going to keep working on stuff. And the smoke's wearing out, so time for me to get moving. I dropped some torps, really I probably should have led these further out this way. Um, <clears throat> But you can start to see the, I'm going to pause it right here, kind of, it, it's just a bad situation my team's in. Uh, this Caesar pushing up, he's going to start getting a crossfire in here with these guys, and these guys are going to die very quickly. We've got an emerald in behind us. My team basically didn't have any flank control whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> they basically just let this emerald drive right into A and right into right in behind us so I mean my emeralds low HP my Emil's low HP um, we you know maybe even in ships but it's not even close <clears throat> the New York's getting dropped right now and it's it's pretty much gonna be me and this CV 
at the end, and I mean that that quick. You see how it all all just swung. <coughs> now, the thing to do, don't panic. This ship is exceedingly dangerous if you can force the enemy close in to uh, to try to uh, to try to kill you. <coughs> so basically, right there, I what I was looking to do is. Uh, just delay long enough till my smoke came up and then just start getting some DPM on this Caesar and <clears throat> my New York goes down so I know they're all coming for me so it's it's basically time for me to you know start putting in some work I haven't really gotten much in the way of damage out and I'm looking around and everybody's converging on my smoke and for a lot of destroyers that would be an oh shit moment <coughs> this one it really is a, a godsend when it comes to uh, dealing damage I get two fires on this Caesar I drop uh, one set of torps on the Caesar I'm gonna try to predictive torp the uh, the October <coughs> And then this Caesar, uh, gonna try to torp, and I know there's a hit coming up, so I'm, I, I end up torping a little early. I thought I was gonna die, uh, and I, I knew the game was lost. I wanted to make sure I at least got something, and uh, I pick up five kills. And I mean, you can see the, the carnage I left behind me with <coughs> torpedo hits all over the place. Um, you know, if I would have waited another half a second, I would have had that Caesar dead. Um, you know, I, I thought that uh, one of these guys might be able to get a shot on me from the backside and finish me off. And I, you know, at least wanted to, to get the damage in, so I saved the star. <clears throat> so at this point, it's just the, uh, the CV... The enemy shooting, fat boats take a while to get around, uh, you know, doing their thing. My CV goes down, the game's a loss, <coughs> but I wanted to kind of show some different things about it, uh, about Nicholas that you, you can't really see unless it's, it's this final, you know, last stand kind of situation and you can see you know the performance of my team i mean <clears throat> you got a battleship that can't break 400 xp it's going to be a difficult game and when you have <clears throat> this many that wow all of all of our battleships couldn't break 600 xp um you know that's that's a rough game so um, yeah, this, this game, it's, it's ranked. <clears throat> it may be, uh, a new version, but it's still ranked. But, anyway, top XP, um, uh, most of the damage being torpedo damage, um, uh, because I wasn't using my smoke screens to use my guns, uh, did get a pretty good chunk on the Acosta and was able to pick up the kills and again use your if if you're not smoking your team use your smoke screens to clean up those those low health enemy ships that's critical for your team <clears throat> as long as obviously if 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 you can shoot them and uh they're spotted you can use your smoke screen otherwise you've got to you've got to shoot them in the open and uh then smoke up to get safe um but that's something that I see that not a lot of destroyer players will do. They'll either try to gunboat, you know, a healthy a healthy target, and they end up trading a bunch of HP for it, or they they smoke up selfishly to do it, 
and then doing so they they cut off most of the vision to their team up there so always be thinking about you know what what your actions what actions that you're you're proposing to do how it's going to affect your team as far as giving your team vision denying vision to the enemy and balance that off with what needs to be done if you can if you can you know smoke up real quick pick up that you know low health cruiser or something like that get them off the board and then get back right back out and and spot that's a that's you know a pretty good play still um so again this is this is just another game of uh nicholas i wanted to show you um was more team oriented uh, but my team was just horrible and uh you know the uh the lovely last stands that you can make with this destroyer where <clears throat> you've got you know 12 torpedoes at tier 5 that you can fling out all over the place and it's it's just a riot so i hope you guys enjoyed the game uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will talk to you guys later.